Department to learn more and sign up. MTN at 15. MTN is 15 years. That's MTN Momo at 15. Well, 15 years since Momo was launched in Ghana. And that's why Momo at 15 Rewards is here. Amazing cash prizes to say thank you to all of you, our loyal customers from MTN Momo. Send an MTN, well, money to an MTN Momo user or make payment to an MTN Momo merchant at no cost. There is 450,000 Ghana cities up for grabs for 165 lucky winners. So you too can be one of them. Just Momo it everywhere you go. Offer is running till November. Well, welcome back, Samia. And uh, we are you. getting to meet you. We've talked about growing up and all of that. Are you married? Yes, I can see that you have a ring on your finger, right? You've been married for how many years? Oh, dear. Let me try and remember. Almost, I think oh, almost getting to 30. 30 yeah, you years. know, some of us, we don't. <laughs> yes, we don't <laughs> pause over this. things. Yo, you don't. You love him. Where is he now? Is he here in Ghana? Or? Um, he is in Ghana now. Oh, he's yes, in Ghana yes, now. Wow. How did you meet he's him? He's not... Um, how did I meet him? We yeah. met in Egypt. Oh. Yeah, we met in Egypt. Mm, mm. You met in Egypt and uh, balancing it, a mother, a politician, and all of that. How, how do you do it? For many young ladies who look up to you, and I've met women, say, well, you know, because of what I'm pursuing, my professional career, and maybe get into politics, right. I don't want to get married. <laughs> One bola ray in a need din combo, and watch as a quame, shadda, a bass and cobe fano, nanko deno, a babe and vice. But to one timia and tiasie, watch it chima the property in tia one tiasie. Wait me while drinking about me didia, conabaha, a conaba television, yen tin some one sister, a kaye, a de far quame, a ye be diacon, a key e shadda, and some woke fano, and ne or no sooner news while you whom politically any one whine the cool meaning in an. It was our conversation with me while you in the comment section. We did your corner, but share in the comment, bra. It does it. You, you became the member of parliament. Yes. Tell us about, you know, that time. You're getting into the constituency. You come in. Everybody knew, yes, that energy. But after that, you, you failed to recapture the seat. That's right. Yes. I was, um, so I became the member of parliament 2008, mm. end of 2008. And 2011, I became the chairperson of the CPP. So by 2012, I had great responsibilities. I was a member of parliament and also the chairperson. And of course, I, mean, I think there was a concerted effort because I was too independent-minded, too, you know? Oh. <laughs> yes. So, so of course, I think there was uh, a concerted effort to remove To me, get you out. To get me out, absolutely. Because they thought you were too independent and not representing the party's views and... and oh, no, not... No, I don't oh, mean that. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally, I mean the political... Oh, the political, I was not, okay. Yes. You're a regular I, the, politician, the, the, if you want. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, the NDC was in power and I wasn't aligned with it i wasn't mm. aligned with every with anyone and you know so so i was really on my own okay. and the party was of course struggling so it was everything came to a head i was battling in my constituency to retain the seat okay. i was battling to get to do the something party. for mm. the party oh. so i think it's everything came to a, a head potpourri of, of yes. things of yes. issues yes yes um, less five things that you did for the people of jomoro samia Oh, Five dear. things. Oh, more. I mean, first of all, social intervention. I made a point of uh, raising funds to to do lots of social intervention projects and collaborate with NGOs. And it, so I did so many things. Almost every community social benefits, interventions like, like mechanized boreholes, classroom blocks, uh, clinics. Um, and these are there for us to see. Oh, if we absolutely, should visit. absolutely. And I continued. Even after I left, I continued. I mean, right now we are even doing uh, a few things. Um, so um, I did all this because I wanted um, to demonstrate that you don't only rely on your common fund and things, you know, from government funds, but you can also do more. Mm. So, and I even, when I was um, in India, I uh, lobbied for this um, 
uh, one million dollar vocational train to, to build a vocational training center, and we were far advanced by the time the elections came. There were correspondence oh. between yes between the Indian. Uh, um, foreign ministry and uh, myself and the district and so we we could have i mean we we could have done many things and all this when i was quite ex inexperienced in ghana as a politician and so imagine if i had stayed on with gaining more experience um, um, expanding my network mm -hmm. and doing other things i mean i have great um, hopes and great potential, I think, to make good things happen in, 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 in the Jomoro in, in constituency. And I do it out of conviction because I believe it's in rural Ghana that development has to happen. And the day that happens, oh, I think things would be, th things in the country generally, because that's where you have the wealth, that's where you have the land, um, that's where you have, you know, the natural. Um, and mineral wealth that you can uh, use. So even as we speak, I even got this opportunity to be able to um, um, start, we haven't started yet, but we'll start construction very soon, a coconut processing factory to make virgin coconut oil to produce it, I mean, and activated charcoal and carbon and other things. And I think these are the things that will make the the district it's a municipality mm. now municipal district um, have increased economic activity and encourage others to come and go and do things and because that's what you need you need to somehow excite uh, people and the economy of these uh, of, uh, of rural ghana which is really Indeed. our our wealth. Indeed. Well, I asked for five, and you mentioned social interventions. You talked about mechanized boreholes and building health facilities. Now you've said that you want to build scholarships, oh, soft scholarships. loans. I mean, I, I've even forgotten. We did everything. I, we did so much. Yes, we were just we were so enthusiastic and, you know, ready to explore everything. And, and that was yeah. when you weren't even experienced, which is why yes. you were saying that you were going back. Are the people of Jomoro clamoring or yearning for your comeback how, how, how is it like on the I ground? believe so because I mean even the main contenders we'd all done the NDC NPP um, um, uh, candidates and myself we've all done one term each and it's very easy to to compare I mean nobody's fresh that so nobody can just make promises uh, without people knowing, oh, okay, you've said you do all this and you haven't done this and this. And so, you know, I think it's, um, it's, it's, uh, the dynamics are good mm. um, from my perspective because we, you can judge us by our track record well, and we'll, what we did. We will but, be monitoring. We will be oh, monitoring. Oh, you have to. We yes, will have yes. to. We will follow you yeah, with our new team. But it's also a beautiful place. Okay. Yes, it might be underdeveloped, but you have these beautiful beaches. Sell, uh, sell Jomoro to yeah. us in a minute. Oh, oh, dear. The best of Ghana because you have the beaches, untouched, beautiful. I mean, the ocean is all there for you. And then you have... Um, you have the Ankasa reserves, you have the Stilt village. So even from it, the Fort Apollonia, the, from even a touristic point of view, there's lots to see. But for me, nature, nature is the best thing. And of course, now there's talk about the petroleum hub, the first phase, which, and I think the district, it's a long strip. Mm. It's big enough to have agriculture and agri-processing and also a section cordoned off for petrochemical Interesting. Industry. So is, is a hub waiting to be explored and, and, and to be tapped into? What do they cultivate there in Jomoro? Because now oh, I believe that we should also coconuts. be charging our MPs to bring the economic benefits of their various constituencies or districts. For Very us important, mm. yes. So uh, um, I think the municipality is the highest producer of coconuts in Ghana. Wow. And Yes, coconuts. I believe. Okay. Yes, coconuts everywhere. Mm. Um and uh, so in a, we need to cultivate more because that's a precious um, fruit tree and fruit and oh nuts um, and and yes so good i mean coconut oil is one of mm. the best for for our health and we must all be eat, uh, using it for cooking instead of the other oils. Okay. Uh, the, those oils which are not natural <laughs> but anyway and. but so um, uh, but there's also cocoa a lot of it's a cocoa growing um, um, 
uh, districts. Mm. I mean, there's, mm. they are all the cocoa. The, that's why there's um, there are many farmers from all over the country who come and settle there to grow cocoa. There's rubber, rubber in abundance, of oh. course. Wow. Um, there's then with minerals. So of, yeah. Very fertile. Use, I mean, mm. it's wet. It rains heavily there, so it's very fertile. And then, of course, you have the the minerals, the limestone, and you have you have many things. It's it's just so rich and beautiful, and potentially mm. also potentially it could be a, a wonderful tourist and, 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 and spot. I believe that, and we wish you the very best. If you should get a nod, if you should get in there, I I yeah. want to see MPs come up with brochures selling their constituencies or their regions and all of that. I know the Minister of Tourism is doing that, yes. but MPs should take it upon themselves that they're also the number one ambassadors, or even appoint people who hail from those constituencies or regions to become ambassadors to sell because now we know that there's rubber, there's coconut, there's cocoa in your district. Yes, How best can we market it and get people to bring investment Cassava, there? cassava. And, and yes, we need to do a lot more as a people. You, I agree to. with you 100%. I agree. Now, now, now let's get to this. You know, many speculated that you were going to be named the running bait for Nana Kwame Bidiaku. Okay. Yes, uh, Cheddar of okay. Freedom Jacob Caesar. Great news and all of that. Did he reach out to you about this tell us for the first yes time. cheddar did yes but um uh, yeah i i told him that i i've invested too much in jomoro and um, i believe the Nkrumah's tradition must be represented in parliament um, in our decision making um, that decision making body because as it is today it is not not with that clarity and conviction so i i yes that I've invested too much in that, and I think I want to see that happen. But you believe life. in his ideology. Nana Kwame Bidiaku is a man on the move. You believe that he has that and what it takes to get in there. Is that that you want to no, stay on the side of I what? believe many Ghanaians mm. have what it takes inside and outside politics. You know, as I'm saying, I mean, now we know what our priorities are. I think most of us do. Uh, so I believe many, many, many Ghanaians have the, but have that the right um, um, mindset mm. and know what needs to be done. But uh, yeah, but politics anyway, it's it's a different thing because the politic going vying for political power. I think you have to do it with a strategic uh, aim. You know, I'm and how, how would I, you how would you rate this government on a scale of one to ten? I I don't see things in that way, that perspective. I don't think any government can perform to our satisfaction. No government without 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 mm -hmm. seriously taking up the challenge of working with other African governments. You see. Uh, our father wrote about this extensively. And I believe as someone who was in power of some sort, from 51 to 57, leader of government business, then prime minister 57 to 1960, and then president from 60 to 66, who oversaw so many projects and development. That is what he said, that for our economic survival, we need to integrate with other economies because they, it's such there's so many things we could do easier and cheaper including even borrowing if we collaborate absolutely so i think the solution to our economic wo woes and challenges as individual african countries is to take this very seriously this question of economic integration but the trouble is we can never be economically integrated if the politicians don't buy into it, meaning without a, a common political basis of sorts. So when people ask me every election, every, of course the government will, cannot deliver. Of course they are, um, um, they are external factors, they are internal factors, but it happens with every government, mm. with every single government. It's not, it, it, every with every single government, the expectations are high. And by the end of four or eight years... That doesn't stop well, you from rating the government. And the question was... No, I can't rate. I can't. can't rate the government because a, I don't scale, think... On a scale of I one don't to ten, think can, that, mm -hmm. But I can say outright yes. that no government 
has delivered satisfactory to the people of Ghana. So the NPP government has not delivered satisfactory. The NPP government has not delivered satisfactory. The NDC government has not delivered satisfactory. Since we returned to multi-party democracy, no. We are C floundering. CPP, CPP under we, your father, they didn't... I, no, I think the CPP under Kwame Nkrumah delivered? started something good. Yes, because it set... Uh, the, it set the 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 the, 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 blueprint. the the blueprint and laid the foundation for many of the things that uh, Ghanaians have enjoyed today: free compulsory education mm. and other things. And and but obviously the challenges of today are a bit different. Mm. Uh, some remain the same and some are different. But our governments cannot can in the in with with our small economies. Our economies that import too much, we are importing much more, um, and so our import bill is much higher yeah. than beyond these um, colonial borders, if, if, if I might call them like this, because that's what they are. We were di divided deliberately into small, unviable economies. So if we don't free ourselves from that mindset, we are always going to be struggling. And we need not struggle as Africans if we reverse that colonial imprint mm. that but, was but imposed that's on why, us. That's why now we have AFTA, I mean, the African Thank continental you. free trade. Has Thank come. you. You think it's working no, no, as we, it should? No, in principle, it's glorious. Okay. But it has to be accompanied by certain things like where our, our, where is our value addition and our industries? Because if we don't have mm. that, I mm. don't know. We are going to be, anyone can come and be a monopoly in our midst. And then we'll say, you, you know, because big multinationals, they operate on a Pan-African scale. They don't, so they don't come to one country. They come to regions continentally even, they operate. So we need to think continentally. We, we free ourselves. That's what our father said. We are no longer a colonial people. So why are we stopping at the colonial borders mm. and frontiers? We, we need a different mind. That's right. We need to look for solutions for our economic challenges that go beyond Ghana, beyond NPP, NDC, CPP, way beyond that. I see, that will I see, be the I real revolution. Vision. Interesting. So, so aside your father, which president is your best in terms of policies and infrastructure? Oh, dear. <laughs> Your arm star chat, yes. <laughs> How are you, Samia? No, I'm very well. <laughs> yes, so aside your father. But you know, sometimes, you know when you're in love, yeah. you don't see any other woman. When you love a woman, you don't see another or a man, you don't see anyone else. So this is a... This is a I know you love your father, man. but yeah. sexually, no, when you're no, in love with your partner... No, I'm, well, I'm you can, giving it as you a... You can admire, but not go for You understand? Yeah, admire, you appreciate yeah. So no, who do you appreciate? No, no, I think if they if if we come together, mm. we would come out with an excellent no, no, solution. No. But because for what we have now, what has you know come through all these years, apart from your father, no, they are very good things. Mm -hmm. For example, yes, under this NPP government, I'm all for free secondary free SHS. Yes, you give Nanado, President Nanado. Thumbs up for, for that. Absolutely. Great. You know, and even though people say, oh, this is not working. But I've talked to people and many say, oh, without it, we would not have been mm. able to send out. Even if it's hard to get food, food mm -hmm. is expensive. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is your child. You, 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 you rate or score President Kufuadu 10 over 10 for that. Yeah, indeed. And that's what I'm saying. What stands to me is mm. not this president or that president, mm. but the, the, policies, the, the policies. Certain policies stand out mm. and are very good okay so that's for the mpp so the ndc will be what for you so under president mahama will be what because you said yeah it, it, it I, this is because it's more recent now i can't think you, of you, what the ndc did oh, you the can't last think of what eight the because eight years have passed oh so you forget do, if president, you remind me president kufadu's own as well in the next eight years if he should be at because it's passed i think i'm talking I think policies. Yes. I don't think individuals. Mm. I think policies. So mm. if you remind me of a policy that the NDC had come up with. In no, the if, I, if I do that, then I'm suggesting to you. And no, then you no, say, but oh, you okay, can. No, I'm, I will, I'm, I will I'm evaluate it. I will I, evaluate it. I, I want you, see, you to independently. No, I think, you know, mm -hmm. but I Go think ahead. it's important. This mm -hmm. is part of the discussion. Okay. We need to think of So what about policies. with the NDC? 
running of the economy during their time. You were in Ghana, you were an MP. No, but and then to the running the economy, nobody's going to run it right okay. in the way we are doing it. So the NDC, we are, the NDC will tell you about the healthcare delivery. And it will tell what, you, oh, what we, we, Bridge Hospital the, is there. The NH, we did the GGMC. So healthcare. Yeah, so they built some yes. good things. So but this, every them? government mm -hmm. built. Yeah, the, and the hospital is a good thing. Okay. The national health insurance, it is good, but it's not enough mm. for what people, if people get seriously ill, right. it, they can't afford it. But for very basic things, that's something in the right direction okay. i don't know whether that's ndc or npp but um <laughs> i can only tell you you see i don't think ndc npp right my mind is not wired that way mm. i mm. think of policies priorities right. and what is good for ghana um uh, now of course one thing that we have not been able to do successfully it's truly to 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 manufacture to increase our manufacturing right. capacity which this must be a priority for us in the years to come because it's part of the reason why we are we, well, are, we, are. we are importing too mm. much you see so it's something that must be addressed with a sense of urgency it is not easy because i can see even from my little experience mm. it's hard to go into manufacturing and you require also uh, not just the uh, accumulation of some capital okay. to do it yeah. So you can't. Yes, th we talk private sector, but but the private sector needs support, okay. needs guidance. So 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 isn't that the reason why former President Mohammed said, well, we need a 24-hour economy for manufacturing and all of that to also you know get us into that pace. Flag bearer and Vice President Dr. Baumier said, yes, digitalization is is working for us, and so we should go for it. So. One is talking about 24-hour economy. One is, is talking these are about brilliant digital. ideas, but brilliant ideas. Can we the have two, them? Mm -hmm. Can we sit and put our heads together? Oh. Can we sit and do... If, if they should come to you, and somebody just sent in a message like that, Mansa says, hmm. if, if President Mahama should come to you with your idea of multi-party, and Dr. Baumia should come to you and say, well, the two of us, we've come together. At least one will agree to be the vice and one the president. Is this something that you go for? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, th I really think it's a way forward for Africa. It is the way forward. We have to seriously think about it in the years to come. I mean, look, look at what happened in Kenya recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After the, uh, um, 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 the strikes and right. the protests, and uprising, yes. the, the president turned to the, the main opposition. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we need to understand this. In times of crisis... Different forces come together. We are in times of crisis of sorts, not maybe war or um, destruction, but the level of hardship. You believe that Ghana is in crisis? Yes, and we've been for a long time, for people who don't have, for people who struggle to, to, to make ends meet, who struggle to educate their children, who struggle to, to find a, a suitable roof on their heads. Yes, they're in crisis. And you know, a civilized society, a truly traditional African society must rise. All of us must rise together. You see, it is a bit, it's, you, we can't be civilized. We can't be dignified if we have poverty in our midst. I, I don't think that doesn't somehow uh, align mm. with even traditional African um, um, beliefs. Well, and, we and have 50 systems. minutes after gone past eight and it's an interesting discussion with many messages coming in. You can also send in your messages right here on Star FM. But let me tell you about Top Choco, after which we'll get personal with you and get to, you know, meet you, know your personal life. But great news from Top Choco. There's nothing more pleasing than Top Choco chocolate spread on bread. It has the power to awaken your taste buds and make you happy instantly. The Top Choco 3-in-1 Instant mixed chocolate drink is suitable for both cold chocolate milkshakes and cup of oil. delicious hot chocolate. So, it's simple. Go out there and we've introduced our Top Choco family and the Top Choco cup, which is great for you. Get your hands on Top Choco today and experience the joy of chocolate spread in a cup. Top Choco is chocolatey and a star assurance. We believe in driving change, not just vehicles. Do you know that our enhanced star motor third party extra policy is designed to give you peace of mind while making a meaningful impact? 
in the lives of children in need. So for every Star Motor third party extra policy that you buy, you contribute five cities to hope for little lives. It's a dedicated NGO working tirelessly to improve the lives of underprivileged children. Call us now on 0302-245908 or toll free number 0800-177-177 to learn more and sign up. MTN at 15. MTN is 15 years. That's MTN Momo at 15. Well, 15 years since Momo was launched in Ghana. And that's why Momo at 15 rewards is here. Amazing cash prizes to say thank you to all of you, our loyal customers from MTN Momo. Send an MTN, well, money to an MTN Momo user or make payment to an MTN Momo merchant at no cost. There is 450,000 Ghana cities up for grabs for 165 lucky winners so you too can be one of them just momo it everywhere you go offer is running till november well welcome back samia and uh Thank we you. are getting to meet you we've talked about growing up and all of that are you married yes i can see that you have a ring on your finger right you've been married for how many years oh dear let me try and remember almost I think oh, almost getting to 30. 30 yeah, you yes. know, some of us, we don't, <laughs> yes, we don't <laughs> pause over these things. Yo, you don't. You love him. Where is he now? Is he here in Ghana? Or? Um, he is in Ghana now. Oh, he's yes. in Ghana yes, now. He's, wow. How did you meet he's him? He's not, um, how did I meet him? We yeah. met in Egypt. Oh. Yeah, we met in Egypt. Mm, mm, you met in Egypt and uh, balancing it, a mother, a politician, and all of that how, how do you do it for many young ladies who look up to you and i've met women say well you know because of what i'm pursuing my professional career and maybe get into politics yeah, right i don't want to get married some also say well i know women strong women like your good self who've done it so beautifully mm -hmm. i want to do that no yes we should try and do everything <laughs> everything <laughs> at the same right but yes but um um I mean, this is life. Mm. You get married, you yeah. have children. You, you can, I think we can do it all. But in all fairness, it is not easy for women to combine everything, it is of not. course. It's not been easy for you at all. No, I had an easier time because I had the understanding of mm. my husband. Okay. So um, even when we returned, I, yes. So um, he was the main, let's say, caregiver mm, um, mm, so mm. It, no it depends if your family understand what you are doing and uh, the importance of it i think it, it makes, makes it, it easier. yes so if oh, the husband understand man. if the husband oh, <laughs> 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 if, i think if the family if mm -hmm. your family not not just your husband, husband. Mm. but even the support you need a support mm. network yes or system like you are saying mm. around you and that, then it makes it easier for you to do these unconventional because politics, like mm. some other uh, activities, it's an it's a bit unconventional. There's no night and day. You are mm. 24 hours doing, th you know, campaigning when it's campaign time. Right. So you need your family's understanding. How many children? Okay, I'm a bad African woman, so I have only Kwame biologically. Okay, but but I have other my my yes mm. my brothers. I, I think um, children are. That's right. My oh, children. Still, yes, still I'm children. close so with you. You have Kwame and all yes, of that. Yep. And I, I hear you love music as well. Who's your favorite Guinean musician? Oh, dear. Do I love music? I, I love music, but mm. I love, yes. I Oh, we have plenty of good ones. Who is your Stone favorite Guinean? Yes. Stone Boy is one of them. Mm. And many others. Maybe you give us three Stone Boy and who? Oh, dear. Bolere, why are you <laughs> making my. <laughs> You're yes. Ghanaian. You, you, you're running for office. Yes. You, you, you yeah. love your but people. You love the music from Ghana. And you love yeah. your Afrobeat. So I'm asking you, you mentioned Stone Boy. And we'll give us three names, Samia. You don't, I, you I don't know your Ghanaian music. You can't think of any Ghanaian music. No, but I don't only listen to Ghanaian music. Okay, give us three I foreign I, music. I, I music. listen to, to music in general. Okay. But from Egypt. you said... Oh, even from Egypt, yes. why not? There mm -hmm. was a there excellent singer. There's a singer who passed on many years ago, okay. but I think she's brilliant. Egyptian singer. I think even if you don't the, understand, you love the music. You will. You will. Yes, it's almost it's mesmerizing. Uh, What's her name? 
her name is Um Kalsum. She and she was very old and still singing. So it's nothing to do with looks or mm, mm, youth mm. or beauty. It's just the voice from the heart. Uh, yeah, but you said I love music. I I think I'm just a moderate music <laughs> listener to music. Do you get to hang out somewhere? Is there with favorite? friends? Yes. I believe in friendship. I have mm. very good friends. I I believe in friendship. Yes, mm. that's another thing. Re Family and some, friendship. Some, some favorite hangouts here in Ghana. Any place that on a good day we'll get to catch some. What do you mean, Kuma. like a, a club a or something? Restaurant or lounge or club? A, oh, I don't do much of that. But restaurants, mm. yes, mm. yes. From time to, I love to eat. Oh, you love to eat. Uh, good you, food. You love to cook. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, yeah, I don't get to do it all the time, but I love to cook, yes. Oh, our mother sent me to the kitchen at the age of nine. Wow. So, yes, we we were brought up by the old-fashioned mothers right. mm. who insisted that a girl has to learn how to cook. Age nine, you were in the kitchen. Yes, because mother said she learned how to cook at the age mm. of nine, so I have to. My wife has sent our daughter, who is 10, to the kitchen now. And I thought there that was too are. early, but yeah, it's fine. I, yeah, I was rebelling and crying and thinking, why are the boys playing? And yeah. I, But today it I paid understand. Off. Yes, of course. Ghana versus Egypt, a football match. Oh, who dear. Who would you support? <laughs> oh, dear. That's, yes, I, I have to support Ghana. No, because, you have to. It's yeah. just because no, you're running for no, office. Because, or, no, because <clears throat> you know something. Mom even, is from Egypt, too. Yeah, remember? of course. Of yes. course. And Egypt is in my heart. Mm. Yeah. But we've always identified as Ghanaians. Yes, more than Egyptians. As, yes, uh -huh. m more. We've. That's how it's been. Mm. Uh, it, maybe even as I grow older, then I can say, okay, I'm half. I belong <laughs> to both. But actually growing up, so, yeah, we, we, we just, maybe it's the influence of our father, right. what he was doing. And, mm. you know. Now I have some fiery... But they are both African countries. Anyway. Certainly. I have both. some fiery questions for you, and I just want your take. I mean, it's, 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 it's a pick. Go or, ahead. Yes, no, so no, go know. ahead. Choose the easier one. <laughs> President Mahama versus Baumia, any day, who will you oh, go for? Oh, no, not, look, I do You said I should fire out. Yes, but I so don't. So what are you afraid yeah, of? No, I'm not Tell afraid, us. but I, yeah. I don't want to get caught up in oh, this what NPP, is being, NDC no, thing. No, what is being caught because, up? Why? No, because I think it's another. You should be able to stake your claim. And no, say, it's well, another unproductive discussion. Mm, to, mm. Because that's what people are longing for. Are you NPP or and to 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 but to, we have them as to political label you? Parties. Yeah, but and we are saying multi-party. Yeah, we are saying let's change that. So I'm not interested Rollins in this kind before, of. Oh in terms dear, of there we go leadership. again. I mean, leadership, <laughs> governance, Rollins of before. Go you again. The word. Yeah. Ooh. There we go again. Ooh. No, but let me say that I I'm not really. I don't think the military should govern. Uh, yes, I don't think the military should govern, and. Uh, Yes, I don't... On that uh, note, I know who you go for then. On that note. Reggae or highlight music any day? Oh, dear. But they are both beautiful and they express a certain... Uh, you, you, you are know, a diplomat, a certain, you know? No, no because <laughs> but they both fil fulfill a, a different function. Reggae or highlight? Any day, which one would we get I to refused you the either or. You see, you want the winner take so. Polary, you are as guilty as every other. <laughs> really? No. I'm just asking because you should have a preference. There's nothing called no, you should have either a preference. or. No. Really? No. So oh. you, you can sometimes, because it, this is the winner takes mm. all mentality. That it's either this or this. Okay. But why can't it be both? Fufu or Jollof? Oh, that's fufu without question. I will tell you. <laughs> so you see that you are also taking sides. No, there. No, that is how we not take so. No, that's we not take no, so. But this is a, you see, I got you food. there. I, I love food. But, but politics, you don't love. You love politics, no. Samia. Jolof, you have to be a very good cook to do it well. Are you a good cook? Can yeah, you but, prepare it but well? No, but no, not jollof. jollof. Not Jollof. So I've tasted very few excellent Jollofs, ah. I must admit. Mm. So that's one Not many people get to do it well. No, 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 at all. But for food, it's easier to do it. <laughs> Nigeria Jollof, Ghana Jollof. Oh, dear, I don't even know the difference. They're all good. <laughs> I don't, I can't. Oh, Nigeria Jollof is the same as Ghana Jollof. I mean, the, I, like I say, it depends on the cook. <laughs> <laughs> as we, as we, I, wrap, as I, we yeah, wrap it up. I don't want here. to anger our Nigerian, oh, our big You're, you're playing it safe, I understand. <laughs> play, it's not time for a mystery question. And there you go. So, oh, can you, yes, can you pick... And then read it out for us. Oh, where are we? We have blind? two, yes. No, what is your biggest 
fear can you have? yes can you uh, okay. get, yes the question is yes please what is your biggest fear in life mm -hmm. that's a deep question very deep let me think a minute Oh dear, I'm, I'm, because I'm, quite, I'm not a fearful person, but, so I have to think about that one. <laughs> yes. Our father used to say the secret of life is to have no fear. So what is my biggest fear? Okay, but very honestly, um, yeah, doing the wrong thing. Doing the wrong thing yeah, is I your biggest fear in life. Yes, yes. I don't like to... Don't like to be bad or oh, do the wrong thing. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes, I love that. So the next one, yes, you have two of them. So the next one will be: Who are your top three best performing ministers, and why? Oh yes. no! So no, now, because yes. you see, you are asking the. the mm -hmm. I'm the wrong person. Why? Because I don't even think of, of, of the people. Who I do, no, but I you know the ministry, so if you don't know the name, that is fair. But if you scan around your top three performing ministries, then I think that is fair. But uh, currently, now you have to think of. I I think mm -hmm. first of all, ministries. Let's see, let's right. see what ministries, and we have so many. Yeah, let's so which see. One? Should I help mention them? Or but if I uh, do that, yes. Well, well, you mentioned free SHS, so that would fall yes. under education. Would yes, you say that definitely. the Ministry of Education has, has, has performed creditably? Uh, no, that particular policy, mm. yes, I think it's very good. So, I am so, a so big So which fan ministries then? Yes. Yeah, that's education, but education? Uh, there are mm. other aspects of the ministry okay. which I cannot so judge. So which, which, which other which ministries Which I cannot well? judge. Mm. Um, how have we done with our foreign affairs? Mm -hmm. Foreign affairs, perhaps. But us. yeah, I think so foreign, foreign affairs, affairs is a very important. Yeah, and I think Ghana's. Is, is what about okay. what about health? What about defense? What about a Greek? Uh, a Greek? Okay, a Greek. I I have to study more because honestly, I think farmers. I I think there's a lot more we can do for our farmers because really, really, they they work so hard. When I saw the cocoa growers with my own eyes, running down hills with that huge sack. I mean, these men are so strong because you could see their muscles, the legs, shoulders. And I thought, what, what, um, it's not a job because this is their life. But um, uh, I mean, yes, what a, what a job to do in life. So, and then when you see the small plots of land, I think our farmers seriously, seriously need we help. Need to, need, they need help. We indeed. need to focus. We need to focus. And, but that's not even the ministry because that's the whole of Ghana. We have mm. to decide, mm. you know. We need to feed ourselves at least 90%. So I think, I think it's one of the most important ministries. Mm. Uh, I don't know about best performing but it's one of the most it's top right. top 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 it as we, as we wrap it Ola tell us your candid opinion on Galamse I've thought hard about it I've seen it I've seen it even sometimes when I'm moving around my heart aches for young people who don't have anything to do who want to get married have children they cannot my heart aches for them, for them. At the same time, of course, my heart breaks for our land uh, because I'm a, I'm a bit of a naturalist and I believe our strength is the goodness of our land because ultimately that's what we eat, what we breathe, what we drink. So it's, when, I say, when I say something about Galamsey, I say it with a great deal of pain and a sense of responsibility and I think the first thing I will do is we have to prioritize alternative livelihood for those who are engaged in it because I can see their point so well you know I can see that if you are desperate to live and there's nothing nothing in front of you but Gallam say you will do it so I can see that clearly. So I would start by us making, somehow trying to create alternative livelihood for all those involved in Galamsey. Because, of course, it's not a good thing for our land, 
for our water bodies, for even our spirits, because our land is the most precious things we have, thing we have. In fact, the people who pass on, we bury them on our land. So if we don't respect our land, then we are doomed. So, so that's it. But I, rather than just be very harsh on those who practice it, I will begin by making sure that we can offer alternative livelihood. But mm. with seriously, not just as a slogan. Or right. We are not saying it lightly. These young people... We need to who, take action. Yes. These young people are forced to do something terrible mm. to their land. Because they have no yes. alternative. Yes. Oh. They are forced to do a very bad thing to their land. So... Interesting. As we go, we'll play.